dangerous pathogen, so I get what Dr. Jenner did, but I still don't understand quite... Um, um, what we want to know is, how do vaccines work? That's a good question. Vaccine is an agent that closely resembles a disease-causing pathogen. This agent can be used to prompt the immune system to act without exposing anyone directly to the disease-causing or deadly organism. Let's review some fundamentals of your immune system that relate to how vaccines work. When the cells and proteins of your innate immune system encounter a pathogenic cell or molecule, they target and neutralize that cell and then signal to the cells of your adaptive immune system to destroy that pathogenic cell and create a memory that guides their attack on this pathogen in the next encounter. This takes one to three days. When your body first encounters a pathogen, it literally is in a race against time to stop that pathogen from spreading to all parts of your body. And because this race is life or death, it's a race you, your body, and your immune system cannot afford to lose. That's where a vaccine can come in and save the day. Vaccines help the immune system speed its response to infection. But how? Vaccines help the immune system to recognize patterns on dangerous pathogens and then train them in a non-dangerous dry run on how to fight the infection. Just as there are distinct patterns in life that help us determine the differences between objects, there are different patterns in biology. And more specifically, there are distinct patterns between cells that help your immune system differentiate between what is a friend and what is a foe. In other words, self, something your body makes, versus a dangerous non-self or pathogen. The immune system identifies patterns on these cells that are non-human and pathogenic. They then can target and destroy these molecules. <laughs> Yes, Debbie, that tail is a flagella, and it helps bacteria to move, but it also is a part of a pattern that helps your immune system to know that there's something different and dangerous about this cell. The patterns that your immune system is looking for are called pathogen-associated molecular patterns or PAMPs. In addition to flagella on bacteria, bacteria also has chemical components on its surface that are different from human cells. And viruses have chemical component on their genetic material like double-stranded RNA that is not found in the human population. One person getting vaccinated causes that person to develop immunity against the infection they're being vaccinated against. But when more and more people within a community begin to be vaccinated, then a bubble of immunity is created around that community, protecting it from an onslaught of infection and outbreak. This helps protect people who can't be vaccinated for reasons of age or weakened immune systems. This is called herd immunity. But some people refuse to get vaccination for themselves or their family members, and not because of their age or their health. Those who choose not to be vaccinated are essentially breaking the bubble of protection around their homes and their communities. And as more and more people refuse to get vaccinated, you may find the emergence of diseases that have long since been controlled and in some cases even eradicated. Vaccines are a non-dangerous substitute for pathogen. They have patterns like the pathogen for the immune system to recognize called camps. They help the immune system wage a practice fight against the infection without causing major damage, utilizing 
your innate and adaptive immune systems, and it helps your immune system form a memory against future infections, which is part of your adaptive immunity. See, just knowing a few things about the fundamentals of your immunity can help you understand a whole lot of things, like how do vaccines work and what do they do? Because it's all your immunity. Ha, 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 ha